thinking Bitch, you know I'm ballin', feelin' just like Spartan 30 for the chain, come bail with the game All these hoes keep callin', we got money off the 30 for the chain, come All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks and I'm coming back with another mother fucking god damn live video shout out to the motherfucking aw pack smokers in the goddamn fucking chat it's a new motherfucking year and it looks like we're still dealing with the same fucking shit shout out to all the motherfuckers in the in the comment section and in the live comment section Shout out to y'all motherfuckers. Uh, we are dropping some AEW Pack, pack Smoker merch uh, soon. So y'all keep your eyes out for that. Y'all let me know how much y'all want to pay for an AEW Pack Smoker shirt. I wouldn't text the fuck out of y'all because I, I just don't get down like that. Um, uh, and of course, all of the payments for the shirts would be sent to my fucking PayPal. You know, we y'all know what that is. It's mastupmarks.contact at gmail.com. Calm. All right, so today's video is simply titled Mercedes Monet or Monet or Monet or Money is a jobber, a fucking jobber. Like, I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these Sasha Banks, Mercedes Vernando, whatever the fuck her name is, uh, fucking Mercedes Banks, whatever the fuck, Banks Monet, whatever the fuck her name is. I am sick of her fucking fan base. She is not that great. She's not. She's attractive. And I'm pretty sure the AEW Pack Smokers, they want a piece of her. But she's not that great. Her mic skills aren't great, still. She doesn't sound confident on the mic. Her in-ring work, I mean, she needs minimal, but you also need minimal without botching a lot. She botched the first time she was on the fucking screen. A lot of people blaming on Kari saying, we don't really fucking know. Her theme song, what is that? She coming out the crisscross jump? Mercedes, Monet, Sasha Banks coming out the crisscross jump, and they just said, money. Money. You could have came up with a better thing. That theme song is fucking terrible. Turn that shit the fuck off. Niggas don't want to hear that shit. Come on, man. And then I seen something that compares Sasha Banks going to New Japan as the same thing with Brock Lesnar going to New Japan. It's not the same fucking thing. Sasha Banks is not on the level of Brock Lesnar. She's not. And I do believe that China went to New Japan as well. That's a female wrestler. So, yeah. I don't see why they don't compare it to that. But whatever. I think China was wrestling in New Japan for a little bit after WWE. I believe she was. But I'm so confused. Like, there's a reason why Mercedes, Monet, or, yeah, Mercedes, Monet, Mercedes Banks, whatever the fuck her name is. Who gives a fuck anymore? There's a reason why. I call her a jobber. And it's because she has a jobber's mentality. She has a mentality that she is the greatest thing since sliced bread in the business. But she's not. That mentality of, oh, I, I could walk out and all these times and I deserve this and I deserve that. You didn't get these, ma like that main event shit with Bianca Belair. That was because of Bianca Belair. See, the thing is with, with Sasha Banks and Mercedes Monet. The thing about her is Bianca Belair is better than her. She talks better than her. Her in-ring work is more decent and more minimal and less stupid. She has charisma, natural charisma. Sasha Banks don't have natu natural charisma. She don't have it. If you look at the Sasha Banks character, it is a forced character. She don't act like that in real life. It's forced. She don't have, she can't relate to that in real life. And I'm not saying that people who, who do characters have to be that character in real life, but you have to have some kind of like something like it, you can have to be able to relate to it. She can't relate to that, her character, man. She can't. 
She's a jobber. They was better off getting da- giving Dana Brooke an opportunity with the belt over giving Sasha Banks. Because at least Dana Brooke can fucking talk on the mic. Dana Brooke has some charisma. What is Sasha Banks' charisma? She's a boss. So now she goes from being the boss to being the CEO. Mercedes Monet. Who fucking cares? CEO of what? What are you the CEO of? And no, I do not think she going to AEW because I think she keeping her, her options open. If she was a smart person, she would keep her options open. She wouldn't sign a five to six year contract with Tony Khan when you got people like FTR trying to get the fuck out of there. You got people like FTR trying to get out of there. She's not going to be Jay Cargill. And what, Sasha Banks going to go to AEW to be the, the, the TBS Women's Champion? <laughs> like, she's not going to. She, she has this big head about herself in the wrestling business that she wouldn't even allow herself to do that. Now, some people say she's going to AEW. I don't think she's going to sign the contract. She might show up there, but a long-term contract, I don't see it happening. I just don't think. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't care if it does or not, because guess what? AEW signed Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe. They signed CM Punk. They signed, who else they fucking signed? They signed Andrade, Malachi Black, Buddy Murphy, and all of these game changers. Paige, Soraya, whatever the fuck she wants to be called. William Regal. And guess what? Keith Lee. Guess what? Nothing has fucking changed. Ain't shit changed. There's nothing that's different with AEW. So them getting Sasha Banks does nothing to WWE. It don't even fucking affect them. Sasha Banks, listen, Sasha Banks leaving WWE, that was her bad decision because now you lost your fucking spot. Bianca Belair is going to get everything and probably more than what Sasha Banks has gotten in WWE. And, 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 And Bianca Belair is more considered homegrown talent than Sasha Banks is, because Sasha Banks did spend some time in the Indies. And she wanted to go back to the Indies. She wanted to go, and and we don't know what the fucking case may be. She may still be signed to WWE, and they put her on the alumni page. She may still be not signed to WWE and coming back one day. We don't fucking know. We don't fucking care. It is what it is. Her name is Mercedes Monet, which is a stripper's name, which, hey, look, I don't go to the strip club, but if the AEW Pack Smokers go to the strip club, y'all make sure y'all get a dance from a motherfucker bitch named Moet. Monet. She probably off of fucking Monet or some Moet or whatever the fuck that shit is called. At the end of the day, Sasha Banks is a jobber. She has the mentality in the mind. Well, not the mentality. She has the mentality of a jobber in the mind frame of a superstar. She thinks in her head that she's a superstar, but she lives her life like a jobber when it comes to being a wrestler. Look at all the opportunities she's gotten working for WWE. You think you think she's going to get opportunities with Disney from AEW? No. New Japan come on TV so damn late. Motherfuckers don't even watch the shit. I mean, they probably still watch it, but whatever. I don't watch it. I mean, I don't dislike New Japan. I don't feel anything about it. But it's it's just like Sasha Banks is a jobber. And we're going to be really honest with you. The money that Sasha Banks wanted, if she wasn't a jobber, if she wasn't meant to lose all of the main event matches when she was the champion and get a belt to somebody else, they would have offered her the same amount of money as Charlotte Flair. Now, I'm not going to say Becky Lynch because Becky Lynch, Fuck her. Fuck Becky Lynch. I'm not saying that. You just can't even, I'm not even going to fix my mouth to say no bullshit like that. Destructor would come through this damn computer or do this damn phone and slap the dog shit out of me if I said that she's not on the level of Becky Lynch. Fuck Becky Lynch still. It's still fuck Becky Lynch. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't even want to see her on the TV. She's boring. Always been boring. But at the end of the day, the way Sasha Banks handles business and the fact that she can't just woman up about certain situations and understand that you're not going to get every single thing that you've wanted, even though you're being called a part of the four horsewomen, which the four horsemen 
are one of the fucking it is one of the fucking greatest collectives of wrestlers that was ever fucking created. It's not on the bloodlines level. I'm just gonna say that. But you're being called one of the four horsewomen of WWE. That's not enough. Six title reigns, three tag team title reigns. That's not enough. She's a fucking jobber, a selfish, crybaby, whining ass jobber. And guess what? At the end of the day, us AEW pack smokers who don't really watch New Japan like that, like that, and definitely damn sure don't watch AEW if she went there, don't have to worry about Mercedes Monet, Banks Monet, Banks Sasha Banks, Monet Sasha, Banks Monet, Sasha Banks, whatever the fuck her name is. At the end of the day, Sasha Banks is a fucking jobber, and <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Give us some time. She'll be back in WWE. You just watch. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Tell us if you want to smoke some Sasha Banks pack. Tell us if you think Mercedes Monet is a stripper's name, which it really is. At the end of the day, fuck Tony Khan. Fuck AEW. Fuck Sasha Banks. Fuck Triple H. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm out this bitch.